are up and ready to vote. Well, a very good morning to you, Michelle Ngele. It's a rather, uh, not a public holiday like it, like it is in Kenya. It's a working day here in Uganda. So imagine the Kenyans who are here, they had to drop their kids to school and then later on perhaps pass by the voting uh, polling station here to cast the ballot. What I can say is I just wanted to give you a feel and look of uh, the, the polling stations here. We have two polling stations at the Kenyan High Commission, so we have polling station A and polling station B. Uh, it, it very few people so far in the queue, but we expect that those numbers will most likely increase with time. So uh, a total of 1,148 uh, registered voters uh, will be casting their ballots. Perhaps we'll be casting their ballots. We know that the, the opposition's call to boycott today's election is also hard. So uh, actually speaking of that, Uhuru Kenyatta in the previous election garnered about over 400 votes. Railo Dinga had over 300. So it means that uh, the opposition's boycott could affect the polling today. So uh, of course, we can see the IABC officials are getting ready. Uh, people, but when you come here at this polling station, you have to present your passport and then your name checked and then you can be able to cast your ballot. We'll be later on speaking with the IABC official here just to sort of bring us up to speed with an update on what's happening here. And joining us this morning is Sam, Sam who is the uh, uh, official from the IBC. Perhaps we will speak out of the polling station, as you can see, Michelle. But just to sort of uh, help us understand how the election is, is Sam who is the IBC official. A very good morning to you. You're live on KTN. Uh, just, to just tell us uh, about an update on uh, these particular two polling stations. Uh, we opened uh, at 6 uh, a.m. Eh, in the morning. Uh, all the systems are working. And uh, immediately as we were opening, we had some voters here. They started voting, and the voting is going on. Would you describe this as a low voter turn-up compared to how it was um, in the previous election? Perhaps not at this moment. Eh? We can only do it after tarrying the, the, the numbers, eh? the vote cast, so that we can know whether there is a variation in some of our polling turnout. Okay. Uh, what, um, well, uh, take us through what a person needs to have here. Previously, we had issues. The um, Kenyans who didn't necessarily have passports, but they had their IDs, but you did not allow them to vote. So take us through uh, the requirements this time around. The requirement is the same. If you registered as a voter using your ID card, you come to the polling station using the same document. So those people who are not registered, actually they were not registered voters in that display because here and the rest of the diaspora, you register using your passport. So you can only vote if you come with the document you use to register as a voter. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to us this morning. All right, so Michelle, um, we expect that uh, 1,184 uh, Kenyans who registered to come and cast their ballots will be trickling in one by one. So we expect those numbers to sort of increase during the lunchtime break and even in the evening before uh, the polling stations close. As you can see, a few number of people are trickling in through one by one. So we'll be speaking to some of the voters here uh, to just get a feel of uh, having their voice heard away from home but being able to know that they're going to be casting their ballots and therefore the decisions, uh, whatever the decisions, uh, they, they will have their voice heard in the Kenyan elections. It's good to have you. You're, watch, you're on KTN News. We just wanted to pick your mind on you're here to vote and what responsibility do you have to your nation, Kenya? Mm, I'm just exercising my democratic right. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a message in Kenya, uh, some violence spotted in some sections of the country. What would be your plea to all Kenyans out there? Just to remain Where's calm meeting? and wait for the outcome. Where is meeting? If it will not be valid, the courts will decide. Hmm. We do our part. We exercise our right. That's it. Exercising his right as a voter. That's what he said. Well, it's a divided opinion, if you can ask me, because previously... As early as this, you could see longer queues compared to today's queues. So it means that the opposition's call to boycott the elections has somewhat been heard by the people, some of the Kenyans who support NASA in Uganda. However, we'll just keep an eye on the developments uh, in terms of voter turn-up. And eventually, before the day closes, Michelle, we will know who would have taken the, poll, the two polling sessions here in Uganda. But previously, in the, uh, the other elections, Uhuru Kenyatta garnered over 400 votes. Railo Dinga garnered over 300 votes. What will it be like? We'll be telling you as the polling stations 